Welcome back to the Tactical Family Channel. We're back out on the range today. We went ahead and we brought out our Remington 870 Marine 12 gauge out. And the reason why is because we recently did a little change to it. Um, super bright out here. So hopefully you guys can see, but not sure if you can. We swapped out the faller. Uh, we always had the original one that came with it, but we went ahead and we swapped it out with a Phase 5 uh, weapon systems follower, and it's a green. Again, not sure if you guys can see it, but we're just going to go ahead and run some uh, shells through it, see how it performs. We're going to start off with uh, some bird shot and then kind of work our way up from there. So around that very well, let's go ahead and uh, let's move up to some uh, double odd buck. So we're going to be using some um, cellar and bellet double odd buck. Um, to me, just kind of some generic buck shot. Um, nothing super powerful or anything like that, but it's double odd buck, so still has some power behind it. Go ahead and move up to some uh, slugs. All right, now we just have some uh, one ounce Fiocchi uh, slugs. We're going to go ahead and um, uh, fire, or seven eighth ounce actually, I think. Uh, 1300 FPS. So far, while firing, the follower seems to be doing fine, not an issue. through those. Now we're going to go ahead and uh, pull out some big old three inchers. Uh, they're the Winchester Super X three inch um, slug. So here you guys go. This is the Winchester Super X three inch one ounce slug. This thing is coming out of the barrel at 1760 FPS. So uh, definitely a lot more than our 1300 FPS from the Fiocchi. If I'm saying that right. Might be chopping it up but Time to have the meal kick. Woo! We definitely felt that one a bit more. I'm gonna go ahead and do, um, Another box of those, and then we'll kind of work our way through a few different shells. But other than that, um, we've gone through, let's see, 6, 12, uh, 18, about 24 shells, and we haven't had an issue yet. I know it's not that many shells, but again, uh, seems like the follower is working, but let's go ahead and fire some more of those big ones. Alrighty, and again, we're doing the um, Super X 3 inch, 1 ounce slug, 1760 FPS. Big boys. Alrighty, now we've uh, moved down back to some bird shot. Probably just gonna finish off with that. Again, seems to be working very well. Um, barrel is hot. I touched it, I felt it. Alrighty, so we went ahead and we took out our Remington um, 870 Marine 12 gauge today. And what we were doing is we didn't do anything super major. Let's see. Can you guys see? Kind of, not really. 
So we went ahead and we swapped out the follower, which you guys saw in a previous video, which you can kind of see here. Um, it's obviously a green follower by Phase 5 Weapon Systems. Um, and basically what we did was we took it out today just to test fire and see how the follower operated and if we ran into any issues. Uh, we fired everything from birdshot, uh, double odd buck, uh, one ounce slugs, even to the good old mighty three inch Super X, here we go, Winchester's uh, Super X um, one ounce slug, sorry, tongue twister there. Um, that came out at 1760 feet per second, and I think the energy's up there. I can't recall the energy off the top of my head, but you feel when uh, you fire. It kicks like a mule. And um, we fired a total of, let's see here, 30 plus shells. And um, that may not seem like a lot, but, you know, I'm thinking that, I'm thinking that if there were, there would have been an immediate issue. I would have encountered it with this follower, which I didn't. Now, I did run into some little issue uh, when I was uh, loading the shotgun where I couldn't get a shell in for a second, but then it went in. I'm not sure what that exactly was. That could have been me, the way I was loading the shell. Could have been the follower, possibly. Could have been the spring, possibly. Not sure, but after that one little incident, everything perfectly uh, was fine. So um, it's really hard to say. I'm going to have to definitely put more shells through this weapon and see. But what I can say right now is that it worked. Did it work any better? Mm. <laughs> um, I, I can't say that. It, it worked. It functioned just as it functioned with the original uh, factory follower that I came with. I can't say right now that it's any better. Um, I'm going to have to do more shooting. But at the end of the day, it's just one of those little things sometimes that we do to weapons just for like, hey, cool, we did this. Um, but I haven't personally seen any uh, better experience using the Phase 5 follower based off of the factory follower. To me, it worked equally the same as that one did. And... Uh, yeah, it worked. Ex <laughs> it worked essentially the same. I'll have to run some more shells through it um, to really see. I guess uh, to you know, I'm I'm a loss for words, and the reason why is because it's a faller, and the factory worked great, and this one works great. So again, but anyways, we took it out. We tried it. We did something. We're gonna be doing more here to this uh, Room Ten Eight Seventy uh, Marine. Uh, we're gonna be doing. Uh, several more things to this so look forward to those videos we'll definitely be able to um, elaborate a lot more on the what I hopefully think will be the positive positiveness coming from the upcoming things we're going to do to this other than that you guys thank you for stopping by and checking out the video don't forget to hit that like and subscribe and if you guys have any comments or suggestions please feel free to leave them you guys have a good day